safe, TSF.C is a Canadian-based tech play tackling the multi-billion dollar global contact tracing market with a full suite of real-time location management services and contact tracing solutions. TraceSafe's Internet of Things ecosystem utilizes advanced low-power Bluetooth beacons in a variety of form factors combined with a leading cloud management system ensuring both user privacy and user-friendly comprehensive administrative control. If any of that didn't make a whole lot of sense to you, you are in the right place. Hi, I'm Maddie Grace. This is 5 Easy Questions, where you break down the market for new investors. Today, I'm talking with Wayne Lloyd, CEO of TraceSafe, for a simple explanation. Thank you so much for joining us today, Wayne. Thanks, Maddie. Okay. Question one, what is involved in contact tracing? Well, contact tracing is um, you know, typically where people, you know, a health official or, um, or otherwise would call and sort of ask you who you came into contact with um, over the last, you know, couple of days or weeks. And people have a tough time remembering that. Um, you know, there's, they just weren't sure who they were, where they were for how long. So we built a solution that uh, effectively creates a technology solution for that. So um, inside of a workplace or inside of a venue or, or other sort of controlled areas where we can install um, our own beacons and then have people uh, wear a wearable, um, in that case, you can, you can understand which wearables were close to one another um, and for how long uh, at a given place. So um, we're working with you know, customers like TD Garden, um, the, where the Boston Celtics and Boston Bruins play. And so their employees are, are wearing these wearables um, uh, and uh, they'd be sort of you know, clips or, or stuff that we built into, into uh, what they're using with their uh, credentials. And it just tracks um, you know, how close they are um, to each other at any given point of time. Um, and for how long. So that can track exposure. So if someone uh, is exposed to the virus or any other thing, um, you can understand who is close to who and for how long. Awesome. Uh, would you briefly explain the Internet of Things? Well, the Internet of Things is um, effectively using communication pr protocols like Bluetooth, Zigbee, or otherwise to have devices communicate information um, to other devices. So the Internet of Things is, uh, you know, in the context of TraceSafe, is really these low-powered Bluetooth um, chips uh, um, inside of the wearables, uh, talking to one another uh, at a peer-to-peer -peer level. And so these are these are devices talking to each other. They're not necessarily full-fledged computers. They're just, and they can be installed on, you know, a wearable or on a on a on a, another asset. Oh, alrighty. What are three signs of a good tech company? Well, three signs of a good tech company it depends how you're looking at it. But I mean, defensible technology and you know a competent team that's putting together um, uh, the the actual product. I mean, the product is critically important. Mm -hmm. um, further to that, I really look for a tech company um, that has the ability to attract first class talent. I would say. You know, in technology, unlike some other industries, um, your tech, you, you know, your your people are your most important thing. They're the they're the the driving engine behind the company. And so, if you don't have the ability to attract first class talent, um, you're really going to struggle. So, I think the signal that people should look for in a great tech company is the ability to attract first class people. Um, how, if at all, does your company practice sustainability? Well, we are really involved in all of the e-waste programs. Um, we do create disposable wearables and we create a lot of wearables and those involve having PCB boards and you know, all of the associated electronics. Um, that is, uh, is, is something that's on everyone's mind because you know, as you create more phones, you create more chargers, you create more wearables, you create more devices, it does create um, waste and landfill um, and all sorts of other things. So um, in, the, in the jurisdictions we work with, we work closely with the regulators and, and, and the governments to ensure that we're complying with all the e-waste um, 
uh, legislation. And that's just a way that we can basically deliver these solutions in a sustainable way. We're delivering the solution and we're also going above and beyond and, and, and dealing with the associated, um, you know, uh, e-waste and, and other things that are uh, part of the product. Nice. All righty. And last question, what is your company's relationship to sports? You kind of answered this with TD Gardens, but. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> sports have been one of the hardest hit uh, groups with this pandemic, they, you know, uh, mass gathering events in general, whether it's, you know, running marathons, whether it's being a sports spectator, sports seems to be a, an industry that's been hit particularly bad uh, with the pandemic. They're searching for solutions. We've done our best to be able to deliver um, actionable, um, you know, tailored solutions for their industry. And we seem to be doing a, a great job where we've you know, the, the World Junior Championships was uh, is actually ongoing right now. Um, and that was one of the first um, international tournaments really um, in the pandemic where you had athletes flying in from all countries all around the world to participate. So they need to do two things. They need to, you know, quarantine the athletes or, or have uh, kind of an isolation period to make sure that uh, everyone was healthy. Um, and then they have to play the, the actual event. And so those are, it's a, it's a two prong, you know, process. And um, we've been able to pull that off and, and assist the event organizers uh, on the technology side. Sports is one of the areas we've had a, a huge degree of interest and in where we've been able to execute some of the biggest uh, venues. Um, TD Garden, obviously highly prestigious, uh, one of the most uh, iconic uh, stadiums uh, mm -hmm. on the on the east coast and um and then working with really the uh first international competition um where you're bringing people from all over the world these are the things we've got to get back to and uh, i think are going to happen very very fast um now that we have these technology-based uh, solutions all right and one more quick question what does the life of your company look like after the pandemic? What does contact tracing look like? In the hospitality business and in the, in the workplace wearables sectors, we're seeing huge um, synergies as far as being able to turn these devices into the center of an IoT strategy, um, whether it's around safety or whether it's around customer experience. Um, you know, for example, in the hospitality business, you're looking at incorporating a, a you know a contact tracing wearable with a payment solution and with um, you know access controls potentially with your door opening at your rooms, um, and so you essentially have this new smart device that is at the center of your experience, uh, which the hospitality uh, guys really love. And in the workplace, you're seeing um, you know your 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 workplace wearable as being something that. Um, can help you know keep you productive. Um, you know, know when there might be you might be at risk or danger of something, and and really help uh, employers, um, you know, maximize the wellness and well being of their workers, and and also um, you know find areas that uh, that there uh, could be efficiencies and, and other things. So we're seeing the um, the wearable space really become a focal point in, in multiple industries. We think there's a huge growth um, a growth ahead for us. Um, the pandemic was really a catalyst that inspired the use of these devices. And so we're gonna be riding that trend uh, for the coming years. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I just have a really quick rapid fire round for you. Are you ready? Sure. This Okay. Yeah. Tea or coffee? Oh, coffee. Good. Okay. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Drink the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite sport to watch? Favorite sport to watch? Probably hockey. Nice. Okay. What is your favorite sport to play? Skiing. Big skier. Favorite book? Uh, Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Taleb. Ooh. Cat or dog? Dog. Uh, value investor or day trader? Uh, value investor. Uh, suit and tie or casual? Casual. 
If you had a thousand dollars to invest, what company would it be? Not your own. Not my own. It might not be a company. It might be right now. It, uh, it might be Bitcoin actually. Oh, all right. And last one. What was the last movie that you watched? The last movie that I watched, I think I have a couple young kids and over Christmas we watched, uh, Elf with uh, oh, Will Ferrell. A classic. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and hopefully we get to talk to you again soon. Thanks, Maddie. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye.